Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. We have a Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Construction Update and Opening Year Update here. This is due to Ken Potrick, Ken Potrock on Instagram. I'm sorry, I always mispronounce his name. So that's not his name. Comment the uh, comment below the like the pronunciation of his last name so I can really get it right on future videos. Because hopefully he'll be Disneyland's president for a long time. But he shared this on his Instagram. He shared this steel picture and a time lapse video of this steel beam under construction for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And obviously due to COVID-19, for a while Disney projects stopped, like Avengers Campus was supposed to open on July 18th, and of course paused here. Um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway also paused, but then it was announced a couple months ago that construction projects, especially Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, will be picked up in stages. And as you can see, the stages, the stages are progressing. Now the foundation is complete. As you can see in the vertical construction, this is the first sign of vertical con construction for this project with the steel beams. There's a whole bunch of steel beams, as, as you can see in the picture, being ready to being raised up. And this picture, of course, <laughs> has the looks to be two story, at least two story steel beams being raised up by this massive crane here. And let me tell you guys. It's going to be, when the steel goes up fast, just like with Super Nintendo World, and I'll link that update up in the right corner that I just did yesterday. When the steel goes up, then it starts going up real, real fast, as that really starts speeding up the construction process, at least for the actual building. The interior stuff takes a while, but the actual building, the um, the framing, the steel framing, and the putting on the facade, that goes up real, real fast when steel beams move on up. But even with that fast construction pace that will probably be happening, the ride has been delayed from 2022, an opening of 2022, just one a year to 2023. Now, we don't even know if it's a full year or if it just um, could be six months. I mean, it just says 2023, so it could be from summer 2022. Let's say they open, plan to open it in summer or fall 2022. It could easily just as be spring or summer 2023 in which case it may not even be a full year so we don't necessarily know the opening seasons of these things but it's been delayed about six to twelve months but that's really not too bad considering the the amount of time it has not been under construction due to the coronavirus situation situation but this is a really cool exciting construction update and if you also want to know where Especially being taken from Ken Pockrick Pot over here is standing in the Team Disney Anaheim building, which is right by, which is literally right behind the construction site for Mickey and Minnie's. As you can see, those buildings um, by the back of the crane that is Toontown, that's Roger Rabbit. Um, I believe that's Roger Rabbit hanging out over there um, on the west side of the west west side of Toontown, I believe, or er, east side of Toontown. Or some comment below the direction of where, whichever the Roger Rabbit side of Toontown, I believe, is, is where this construction is happening. This is where the former entertain, entertainment buildings were. They got demolished a few months ago, or several months ago, actually, for this attraction. And yeah, Team Disney Anaheim is right, right here. It's super, super close. When I was at the college program, we had our training here in Team Disney Anaheim, and when we did our park walkthrough, we'd walk right through that parking lot at where the cones are, and then we'd um, go by the entertainment building and walk right into a backstage area of Toontown. So it's pretty cool, and it's pretty crazy how you realize how close the Team TDA is to Toontown, because when you're in Toontown, you're just so, so immersed in the land. It's like, wow, you're a whole different world, but right behind you is the parking lot and an office building, or a cast member building. So... That is, it's kind of like surreal just to think about. And they have the Matterhorn right there. It's, it just shows how Disney has, Disney does a great job of theming. But yeah, what do you guys think of this small one picture construction update and new new opening year? Do you find it surprising? Do you not find it surprising? I feel like no one should find it surprising due to the delays. But it could be, they actually could be surprised that it wasn't delayed longer. Um, again, a year delay or six months, six to 12 month delay is really not too bad of a delay 
considering we really didn't know the status of the project. Um, and some even thought early on it might be postponed indefinitely. I never thought so, but, you know, there's when they said they're stopping $900 million in construction projects and pausing some and reevaluating each project, some people maybe thought Mickey and Minnie's was just going to put on pause for a while. So a year delay is really not too bad when you think about it. But comment below what you guys think of this progress. I cannot wait to get back to the parks to actually show you this construction progress from Mickey and Friends parking structure on the top level. Um, hopefully, hopefully we get those those uh, theme park guidelines soon. Come on, Newsom. Come on. Release them. The theme park's open all over the country. Release those guidelines. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of Mickey and Minnie's run Runaway Railway, the new opening year, the new construction progress, and... When do you guys think these parks will be open? When do you expect them to be open? I'll be doing another video on the COVID, the new California COVID guidelines um, coming up soon. So subscribe for that. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.